All right, I'm back out here in the garage. <laughs> got a, I don't, think, I don't know if it'll show up on camera or not, but got a big cloud of smoke. Uh, before I could get it unplugged to do the video because of the noise, <laughs> the heater ran out of fuel and it flamed out and <laughs> spewed a bunch of smoke up in there. But anyway, um, ZB update uh, and garage update, I guess. We're going to stick with just the ZB mostly. Um, <laughs> my son's truck right here. Hold on. Hold on. Point of order, Mr. President. Um, yeah, 99 Ram. It's had a water leak off and on. We thought it was water pump. Put a new water pump on it. That didn't fix it. Um, well, it did sort of, we thought. But then it uh, <laughs> leaked again. Pay no attention to that. That was me cutting the. Uh, <clears throat> Damn it, clip. A uh, hose clamp off of it, but uh, there was a bi uh, bypass hose up here on the top of the motor. It goes down to the water pump. It's a little rough down here on the bottom. So make, sure look make sure you're filming what you're looking at, dummy. Uh, it's a little rough down there on the bottom. So, <laughs> earlier tonight, I went and got a new one. <laughs> and uh, yeah, what <laughs> new one? Old one, skinny one, fat one. I have a feeling this thing is was probably the cause of the leak all along, but it goes up under there, and then this big cast bracket here flops over. This is the actual. This right here is actually the bottom side. Um, You know, these these points here mount over there holds the alternator and the compressor all that it <laughs> pretty much hides that whole unit or that whole hose area um, yeah I think this was our leak all along anyway the boy and I are working on fixing that but anyway back to the old ZB um, factory intake manifold um, yeah, there it is. With the, I started working on it, grinding the way. Yeah, let's get up here where we see what I'm talking about. Uh, let's put up here on the truck because the eh, truck ain't going nowhere. Um, I ground away a bunch of. Yeah, this came all the way down and around. Um, this was actually a port here where heat from the stock exhaust manifold could come in here and warm the intake charge, which that's not a horsepower maker at all. Um, anyway, I just started grinding all this way because I was perhaps struggling with how I was going to do what I wanted to do with the... Anywho, um, I get this is a this is this is a definite solid backup plan. Oh, ah, put it. Can't start that damn heavy. But this is what I really want to run. This is the manifold I want to run. Um, this is off of a newer overhead valve uh, motor, like 445, or which replaced the ZB, whatever. Um, I still need to probably grind. A little more here off the back of this the intake uh, tube so that the two mana so the two manifolds aren't touching so we don't transfer heat from the exhaust manifold to the intake um, my big concern was how I was gonna clamp it down uh, I thought I needed a I was gonna have to put it in a, in a uh, mill to smooth this off and this the two outside edges of the intake manifold didn't bother me so much because they were pretty much kind of okay what I was worried about was here on the inside uh, because well, there just wasn't much clearance clearance 
but as you can see maybe that's pretty flat and square ish as is that side of it um temporarily squished down there flat and square semi flat and square this isn't perfect um see because we're twisty it's definitely a little taller and I, I measured it so I know it's a little taller up on um, up on that side of the manifold as opposed to this side not a huge deal um, <laughs> my flange and my intakes a little with my little spacer block is a little thinner than the exhaust but that just means that most of the clamping pressure can be down on the exhaust manifold which is good because the exhaust is trying to push up out and takes sucking down in. Yeah, he said sucking. Um, but to get that to that condition, uh, stick with me as I wander through my garage. Um, uh, Hitachi angle grinder. Look at all that. Ugh. One of these days I'm going to build like a box to sit around my vise so when I'm grinding I can catch all that crap. So I used the Hitachi uh, angle grinder, uh, Ingersoll Rand quarter inch, you yeah, know, little uh, air grinder. I don't need that hooked up anymore tonight. And where did they go? Oh yeah. Um, just a big file. And it was a smaller oh, big file little little file uh, so that's what I <laughs> that's basically what I used when I thought I was gonna have to use a freaking bridge port or something to you know clamp it down and square it up whatever but I think a little more work on this one like this is I think this is the first one I did oh, I think and I got carried away with the damn grinder and cut too much off the one side and I'm, 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 it's it's really close um, measuring it with my micrometers I'm like eight millimeters on one side and like 7.6 or something I'm just making those numbers up it's, I mean it's it's so so close that uh, and I'm gonna make I'm gonna make new blocks for this in fact I got the steel right here that are gonna be a little longer so we get closer to the intake and the, I mean, just, I just want, I just figure the more of that that I can cover, the better it's going to be. Um, I'll probably work on filing down this backside just a little bit more. Try and get that a little, little flatter, maybe, I don't know. But uh, I, I think, I think my uh, intake manifold uh, experiment is going to, I think it's going to get on there and work, I hope. If for nothing else than my own personal cool factor of saying, hey, yeah, I I made this work. I don't know. Mar and I am going to try and get this clamped up a little tighter so we don't have that wobble in there. Cut a couple pieces of this the right length for my spacers. I need four of them maybe try to might try and drill out or lay out and drill I'd really rather do it while it's big pieces um, some new clamps clamp plates to go between all that and uh, yeah and I did go ahead and hang the weight bracket back on the front I get I need two more bolts up here to go in the front <laughs> That one, I don't know if you can see it or not. That, that thing is bent. <laughs> uh, so uh, I'm going to see if I can get two more of those tomorrow. So I can get that in there. Once I get that in there, then we can get a battery up in there. Get a battery in there. We'll probably try to spin it over and see if we can make some oil pressure. If I can get manifold straightened out, battery in it, making oil pressure, we'll be, uh, we'll be ready to, or just about ready to. Uh, I put some, put the carb on it. And I got it. Yeah, get the manifold figured out. We'll put the carb on it and get all the, get all that figured out. And 
Put some gas in it and see if a son bitch will run. <sighs> Man, I can't wait to hear it run again. <laughs> anyway, that's where I'm at on. Oh boy, let's back out that. Of course, the zoom. I'll zoom out. That's where I'm at on the old ZB. And uh, <laughs> the, <laughs> the green weenie. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Well, anyway, I'll be back.